This week I'm taking you to the kitchen because I'll be implementing the layout of recipe box app. Especially if you do the project for yourself, if it's not for a client, um, you can easily change some stuff. Um, if it's uh, better for the project, if it's better for the final user, if it's better for the final performance. This situation is a great example uh, when uh, firstly designing it, I thought I will build everything with Flexbox. But later when you um, think, okay, what about Fab? What about this, uh, um, these animations? Uh, is it easier, is it better to build them on your own? Uh, is it uh, the challenge that you need right now? Mm, because if not, then maybe there is an easier and faster way to build it. Of course, it would be perfect if you know everything in the beginning, but that's life. And the life is that uh, sometimes you, you get the new idea uh, out of a sudden and uh, if it's really better for a project, why not? turn into this direction. If it was the project for a client, for sure I would have to discuss everything with them and explain why uh, and to convince them to this uh, solution, uh, convince them to choosing some, you know, slightly different way. Communication and being on the same page is the key. this week with the recipe box project, I introduced um, the basic layouts. Let's start with the home page. I implemented it according to the designs I prepared earlier. Right now you see one photo, but of course there will be different photos. Each of the card is the link. There's the fab where you can always add a new recipe. This is mobile horizontal view, mobile vertical view. On smaller phones such as iPhone 5, it looks like that. iPad view and iPad horizontal view and desktop view. Each of the um, card is a link, so wherever you click in the area of a given recipe, you will be redirected to recipe view. This is the recipe view on desktop. So there, when you enter any, um, any recipe, you can see its details, so the big photo, and you can also edit or delete the recipe. There are the tags 
here. I changed it a bit from the previous design. A user will be able to search here and also uh, come back to the previous page. On mobile, it looks like that. So it's almost full width of the screen and mobile horizontally. And let's look at some iPad view. Whenever a user clicks edit, they will go to edit view of the recipe uh, where uh, we have uh, the title to edit, the text to delete or to add a new tag. There is also a place where you can edit the ingredients and instructions. Later, a user will be able to save uh, the changed recipe or resign from the changes by clicking cancel. Also here, there's a chance to change the photo. And the last view implemented so far is uh, the create view where a user wants to introduce completely new uh, recipe by clicking the fob with plus icon they will be redirected here and the form is with float label pattern uh, so the labels do not disappear when you start typing but they will stay there at the top the whole thing here is a link so it's not important in which point the user clicks wherever they click in this area they will be redirected to uploading uh, photo. This is the mobile view and bigger mobile view, so tablets. So I introduced the basic layout and right now all of the views are in separate HTML files. If you want to have a look at the code, uh, I will put the repository link in the video description below. When I come back to this project, I will start adding React functionality. I started with implementing the layout once again because I think it's easier for me to do firstly the basic view and later uh, to see how it works uh, while I start implementing React. The separation into implementing layout and uh, functionality in React helps me also uh, in deciding on the final version of the design uh, and on the final version of the look of the product and test whether the first decisions uh, when it comes to layout were really the appropriate ones. That's it for this week when it comes to code because Christmas time is coming. This week we are celebrating Christmas time and uh, whether you are a believer or not I wish you really the best time in the year and relaxing a bit and rethinking also what you did in this year and what you want to do in the following year. There are some people who do not believe in New Year's resolution but uh, I will tell you in my example how it worked. Last year in December I planned a few things when it comes to code. One of them was learning JavaScript. The second was writing more blog posts uh, about code. And the third was learning more about user experience. And thanks to this planning and thanks to having some expectations, uh, I really developed. Without the plan, I don't suppose I would get the same results. There are at least three things I learned about learning to go this year. The first one is to be careful about your choices and abundance of things. Because there are many old courses, but if you don't stay focused, you can really get distracted and learn simply nothing. The second thing is to refill your motivation. Everybody will have different way of motivating themselves, but for me, uh, this vlog turned out to be one of the great sources of motivation. And the third thing I learned is taking small steps into the right direction. So whenever there appears an occasion to learn something new uh, that's connected with your goals, that is according to what you want to achieve uh, generally, go for it. But don't exaggerate with the size of the project, don't exaggerate with the responsibility, don't exaggerate with the, um, with the complexity and doing everything at once. Because whenever we want to make something live, 
and uh, implement it, but we don't divide it into small steps. Uh, or whenever we want to learn something new, but we don't do it step by step, but uh, wanna take the big bites. It can overwhelm you. That's why take the small steps. Hopefully the next year we will learn together even more than this year and we will keep on doing, keep on developing. I wish you that and I wish you back free code and awesome designs. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! Keep on coding and see you next year!